Yeah, yeah. So in, in my case, I see a lot of chronic laminitics that are having problems um, from essentially being able to just drift um, into this distorted hoof condition. And, uh, and so when that happens or during the laminitic episode, obviously that weakens the, the bond between the distal phalanx and the hoof capsule. And so that weakens the white line area, um, which very easily would allow dirt, debris, and bacteria to, to pack, migrate proximally, and cause an abscess. Those horses also tend to have uh, a longer toe lever. They kind of get to growing out of control, and they're very susceptible to, to white line disease. And so then not only are you having to treat the chronic laminitic, but you also have to, to treat white line disease at the same time. So there's a lot of dressing the hoof wall. There's a lot of debridement. Um, you know, and then once you debride it back to as healthy a margin as you possibly can using topical treatments um, to, to treat the white line disease. And then, but more importantly, is taking the horse from whatever environment they're in and trying to move them into as clean and dry of an environment as possible. Tends to be the, the most successful plan in my experience.